Okay, hello YouTube. Today we are going to do some exercises in plotting surfaces in three dimensions. Okay, so if you're interested in that, stick with me. Now our first exercise is about plotting a surface in which we already have the left hand side, the Z, uh, on its own okay so we can simply use plot so let's do this in a couple of ways to increase the magnification okay so we'll first do this just by saying to plot uh, the inverse so one on this is the multiplicative inverse of x squared minus 3y squared and let's plot this in the range uh, minus 5 to 5 for x and let's do the same for y okay shift and enter all right what's wrong with this um, we need to put 3d plot 3d okay and now we have uh, an image of this surface okay so let's move it around and see what we have now it is only plotted within this specific range okay so I believe that we can extend the plot range in the options now let's try this plot range all okay if we do that then uh, we get more of the picture and you can see how high it goes within that plot range okay obviously it goes very very high indeed but uh, you know this is dependent on the precision of the computations as as well okay so that's one way to plot um, this surface which works perfectly fine when we have the Z just to the power of 1 All right now let's copy this copy and paste and now we'll edit this a little bit so get rid of the plot range now rather than put plot 3d let's go parametric plot plot 3d and see what we have okay well that doesn't give us anything does it why not why not All right, let's go have a look at the help file. And I'll show that to you. Parametric plot 3D. Okay, now typically this is for um, A description of the surface in terms of points so that's why this is not working so let's try the example from the help file shift enter all right it's down here and now let's have a look at it so it is given as a description in terms of points okay now there are two letters u and v so this surface is parameterized in terms of the two letters u and v so let's see if we can replicate that in our case all right so we have an x we have a y and then the z was simply one over this all right so here we go and we'll get rid of this now and try that again okay and now we have what we're after so here's the surface plotted uh, parametrically in terms of x and y Okay, so what you see is that there, there are often a number of ways to plot a surface in Mathematica. 
Okay, now let's have a look at the next exercise in this section. Now this one asks us to plot the surface z equals x squared minus 3y squared using plot 3D. Okay, well this is much like this problem right here, so we'll just copy that. We'll come down here, paste that command, and now this surface is simply x, z equals x squared minus 3y squared, so we can get rid of the brackets. And we probably don't want to plot plot range all, so we'll remove that. Shift enter. And now what we have is a saddle, right? Looks a lot like uh, something that you put on a horse to ride the horse comfortably. Okay, so it must be named after that. So this is a saddle. Okay, now let's have a look at the next question. Use contour plot. Right, so I'll simply copy this, copy, paste, uh, contour plot. So I'll just change this and write contour in front of the plot, contour plot 3D. And it says to plot this in the range uh, from minus 2 to 2. All right. But in this case, I simply write in the implicit equation. So x cubed equals equals this. And then I need to specify to plot in the z range 2. Minus 2 to 2 as instructed. OK, let's press Shift Enter and have a look. And now we have a picture of the surface z cubed is equal to x squared minus 3y squared and we can move this around all right very good let's uh, move on to do the next problem which is a challenge it says use the function random table and list point plot 3d to generate and plot data points near the surface this surface we just plotted using contour plot okay since we're after uh, a collection of points let's think about this very carefully okay so we want to enter in x y and then the z coordinate will be uh, the cube root so for that i think i'm going to open up the palettes basic math assistant move this so i can show you and i will just select this button right here for cube root and i'll enter that it's a cube root by putting a three in the wedge of the root okay and then what i want to in include inside the brackets is x squared minus 3y squared right now I have this um, as a point parameterized by x and y and I can close the palettes now all right now we wanted to plot points near this so for this exercise let's just add on um, a triple to each set of points so I'll go random comma random comma random All right adding on to this point right here so we get a little bit of noise in there and let's even um, scale this by some factor like 0.5 okay when you um, press when you write random just with an empty bracket like this, I'll show you what it does. All right, we'll go down here, shift enter. It gives you a random number between zero and one. Okay, if I do this again, it should be different. There it is, different, different yet again, and you see. Okay, so let's have a look what happens when you do that with a triple. 
So you get three probably different random numbers in a triple. Okay, so that's what's happening. We are adding some noise onto this point, essentially, but we're, we're dividing it by two by, by scaling by 0.5. Okay, so that noise won't be so profound. Okay, now that we have this, let's uh, tabulate and make a list out of this. So table, and then we need to tabulate over X. Let's choose, let's see, are we given any plot range? Let's have a look. No, we are not. So let's choose one ourselves, minus five to five. And after the five, I'm going to specify that I want to, to proceed in steps of 0 0.1, all right? You can choose that if you just put it at the end of your end, end plot range there, all right? So this will go minus five, minus 4.9, minus 4.8, and so on. Now let's do the same with the Y. Okay, and this is going to be a long list, so let's just put L for list equals this. Shift enter and have a look at it. All right, so you can see it's a long list. So we'll put a semicolon. And now what we want to do is write list point plot 3D. Square brackets, and we are doing this with L. Okay, let's try it out. Shift enter. And now what we have are uh, a collection of colorful points that are near near the surface. Okay, now what notice that we have taken the the positive square root. So that's represented accordingly. Also notice that they're, they are various colors. Now, if we just do one simple trick to this list, we can at least have them all be blue. So let's do that. Let's uh, create another list. T equals, we'll flatten out the list L. So this removes all interior uh, set brackets. There's just now a list of numbers. And then we will partition it again into triples. Partition into threes and what we want to now plot is the list t we'll put a semicolon on this shift enter okay and now we have exactly what uh, we were asked to to get so this is a list of points near the surface z cubed is x squared minus 3y squared but we've added on some random noise Right now, if you want to magnify that, well, you can do that. Turn this into a one, for example. Let's see what we have. Okay, and now it's a li little bit more random. So you've introduced some entropy, if you like, into this. Right, we can magnify this even more. Let's put a two there, see what we get. Okay, much more disorder. So. They are farther from the surface and so on. All right, so you can magnify that and, and have a little bit of fun with that. All right, well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this exercise, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.